Good morning. I look like another person today. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Yes, I do not look like my regular self because it is set to rain. Good morning. Set to rain today. And so being um, in a new natural uh, uh, permed state, I could not risk being um, caught in the rain. And looking like uh, Wantu Azuri. So I put on my hair hat this morning. So good morning, everybody. I pray. Good morning, Linda. I pray that today met you. As I always say, enjoy. Um, I pray again that this is a day that you uh, woke up and experienced uh, the fullness of the joy of the Lord. Even as you opened your eyes this morning. Y'all see my, my, big, my big eyes. Good morning. Um, that you woke up and opened your eyes. Yeah, I don't do afros and not not the curly ones, the bushy ones too. Uh, so, uh, again, I pray that you all in, are enjoying. Yes, yes, yes. I have on my hair hat this morning because it's raining and I don't, I don't, um, I don't have a perm. So we can't, we can't do that in the rain. We can't do that. I'm not gonna do that to myself. Uh, so, yes, I'm hair hatting it today. But uh, um, this is my uh, Egyptian, I don't know, you know, they have names for wigs and stuff. So I don't, I don't know the name of this one, but I, I forgot what I call this one. They all have names to me. But this is my Egyptian look, my uh, Queen of the Nile type of deal. So yes, that's what we're doing and why we're doing it today, this way. Hopefully tomorrow will be a different day because it is, hey dad, I know, I look like my dad. Just you in a dress, as we always say. Uh, and, and today, me, me in a dress and a wig. Yep, yep, that's what we're doing. So, um, yesterday the challenge was to uh, take what God was giving you as you went through your 30-day challenge. Take the, uh, thank you. Hey, me in a hair hat, hey. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jennifer. Um, and to thank you, doing a scope. Lord, you, you've worn a wig before, remember? That's our little secret. So, um, yeah, so uh, uh, to take it and take what God had given you and to do, step out and do a scope and allow um, the world to have a little bite. No, this is a hair hat. This is a wig. I wouldn't cut my hair on purpose. I have 12 fits when I have to get my ends clipped. I make them show me what they're cutting before they cut it because... I like my hair. And they tend to give me a haircut when they say they're going to clip my in. So, uh, I'm very, very, very funny. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I have a, a wig face, as they tell me. I can wear just about any type of hair. And it look okay on me because it's this, this nice round face. Um, thank you, though. I appreciate that. So, um, uh, uh, um, oh, the challenge. Good morning. Good morning, Muriel. Good morning, Dakala. Good morning, Jackie. I don't think I said it. And good morning, Dr. Paris. Good morning, Dad. Uh, good morning, Linda. Uh, I think I got everybody. Jennifer, everybody that I saw come on. Oh, and Allison, I saw you coming on, too. Um, so, if you missed the, the swap scope last night, it was really, 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 really good. God blessed. He blessed. He blessed. Um, and so, the challenge... <laughs> uh, the challenge was to do the do the scope. I didn't see anybody I, uh, get on and do their scopes because I was waiting. I saw Allison get on this morning and scope, but I didn't see if it was uh, the challenge itself to to share what God was sharing with you. Um, so I'm going to issue that challenge again. Uh, if you did not um, uh, take the benefit and utilize and mobilize what God has given to you by his spirit through his word uh, to share one with another please get on and do that please do that for us because you are absolutely a tool in the hand of God and we want what we want what God uh, um, wants to give and wants to utilize do not do not uh, put yourself in a position where you say well I don't know enough and I don't you know I don't know how to do this now say it like this don't do that don't do that to yourself because you are uniquely created not no pun Jennifer you are uniquely created 
to speak forth the truth of God and to demonstrate the life of God. Um, so do that and utilize that. Um, that is the uh, challenge again for the day. The encouraging word for today is to remember that Jesus is still on the throne. I know, I know that um, a lot of people were were not looking forward to seeing what the fallout was of the election stuff um, in hopes that Trump would not have won this primary. But Jesus is still on the throne and God is yet in control. Um, and actually this morning on the, the 6 a.m. morning prayer call, and pray my strength in the Lord because that's 6 o'clock morning prayer call. Oh my God, that, that, that thing wears me out, wears me out, wears me out. Early in the morning, I me in early mornings. And that's all I can say. We we don't like each other, uh, but I'm dedicated to obeying God in spite of what I don't. I'm gonna keep shaking my head. I don't like it. I don't like getting up that early. Five something in the morning is ungodly to me. It is ungodly. But nevertheless, um, so but e even in this morning. I said, so says you. So says you. If you want to, I, you can do the 6 a.m. prayer call, Dr. Pierce. This is better. I don't like it. I don't like it. But one of the things that the Lord was uh, saying uh, through prayer this morning uh, was just reminding us to um, to not pray the problem. I say this all the time. Not pray the problem, but pray the solution. And we recognize that, that Donald Trump needs Jesus. He says that he is a believer, but again, you know them by their fruit and you know them by their love. And according to his fruit and his love, he don't know our Jesus. So um, uh, what the Lord allowed, again, for me to remember uh, and, and to recognize in prayer this morning was to pray uh, for his salvation and pray for um, his, uh, his healing and pray that God would turn his heart to him and pray that uh, um, if... Oh, oh, if by some stretch uh, that the Lord would allow him to be our next president, that God would, hilarious Elder Tina, that God will, um, amen, amen, um, that God would uh, touch his heart and transform him that it could, because he not only needs uh, salvation, but he needs to be renewed in the spirit of his mind. So, uh, and only God can do that. And so we need to be uh, praying not only for um, the government. We need not only pray for, you know, that instead of advancing and mobilizing our desires and our intentions, we need to pray uh, sal release salvation and release healing because there is a disconnect. There is a serious disconnect in this man's heart, in this man's mind, uh, in his motives and in his intentions. And it would be just just God to allow, and I, I, again, this is not my hope, not my desire, but it would be just like God to allow this man to um, take office and then totally change his life as he gets in office and allow him to uh, blow our minds in the transforming power um, that he can provide in demonstrating um, healing and demonstrating his uh, wholeness and demonstrating uh, uh, salvation to Donald Trump. I believe God. I believe God. And that's not something that, you know, I really, 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 really want to happen. I do not want Donald Trump to be the next president of the United States of America. But if it is God's divine uh, plan and will for that to happen, so be it. And we're going to pray his deliverance. We're going to pray his salvation. We're going to pray that he uh, gets that this this experience would um, humble him in such a way that he recognizes that he is not God. He is not Elohim. He is not Jehovah. He did, he may have uh, uh, money, but he does not have uh, um, everything that he needs uh, to do whatever it is he thinks he's doing. And a lot of times we feel like, you know, that even the scriptures talk about that money answers all things, but there's some things that money cannot buy. And so he, uh, if God affords him this opportunity, that this opportunity will be the thing that God used to drive him to the cross. That is my prayer in Jesus' name. So today, be encouraged uh, not to look at the things that are going on in our midst, in our surroundings, and be um, critical of them. Don't speak against, uh, because it is, it is God who sits one up and puts one up and sits one down. It is, it is 
God who, who holds the heart of the king. It is God who allows what he allows. And he has a plan and a purpose in what he allows. So let us remember and uh, 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 become strengthened by the fact that God is in control. And that he has given us uh, the tongue of the learned. That he has given us wisdom. That he has given us insight. That he has given us action. Access uh, to himself. Uh, we have access as it pertains to uh, uh, the realms of the spirit, the atmospheres of the earth, and we need to utilize the power, the dominion. The Bible talks about taking dominion. Uh, it was already given, but we need to make sure that we employ it and that we activate the dominion uh, that we have been given and afforded, the rights and the benefits that we've been afforded as children of the Most High God, and that we begin to release uh, the words of truth, not our own will's desires, but the will, the plan. Uh, and the purposes of God to be activated not only in the earth but in the lives of men that hearts would be changed y'all thought I was joking when I was talking about praying for Willie Wilson I pray for him I pray I pray for Willie Wilson. So we need to make sure we pray for Hillary Clinton. We need to make sure we pray for Donald Trump. We need to make sure that we pray for Anita Alvarez and for Kim Fox and uh, Donna Moore and all of these people. Uh, um, I could keep naming the, the, the Zops and all of these people that are in our local government. We need to be praying for them because uh, they these these seats and these positions may look like something else. But when they get in those offices, that's that's something totally different totally different uh to to be fighting for something and then you actually get what you're fighting for and it's like ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm, maybe i shouldn't maybe i should have stayed on the other side uh but we need to again be praying because it's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that we're not aware of and we need to be praying for the systems of the earth and the people who are involved in the systems amen so be encouraged that god is still in control i'm not moving to canada I'm not doing it. It's too cold. I'm staying here. And if anything, I'm moving a little further south. I don't plan to, but, you know, whatever God says. But I'm not leaving the United States of America. And I'm not going to allow any devil in hell to run me out of the place that God has called me to. And I have been called. I've been born here. I'm not going back to Africa. I'm not going to any other country. I'm I'm okay. I'm okay here. And we're going to stand and we're going to declare and we're going to decree uh, God's order uh, be loosed in the land. Amen. So if you have any prayer requests, come on here and put it on the screen so we can. Y'all know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the right notebook. Got it. Um, so we can write down the prayer requests. Of course, Donald Trump is on our list. Hillary Clinton is on our list. All of the new... Um, Okay, all of the new, um, newly appointed, well not really appointed, all of this primary, the primary winners, um, um, we're going to be praying for them. I was happy to see pe more people getting out and voting yesterday and people taking their rights seriously. Okay. Okay. Um, lock and load. I don't know your uh, your given name, but uh, we were actually actually praying last night for the hearts of men in our swap scope. Um, I'm writing. Um, so we we absolutely do agree. Rochelle, okay. I, tr I try to note everybody's names. Okay, amen. We we continue to, to lift up Leo. You know, I call his name often. That our young people wake up and see the board. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So we got our youth. Amen. Open doors. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Uh, I'm humming because as I'm writing, I'm hearing. And uh, as it pertains to the open doors of opportunity, what I heard the Lord say about uh, the open doors for uh, job opportunities. I heard him say, create, create, I, I'll write that down. You're going to have to put that up again, Felicia, because I have to say this before it, it walks away. Um, create the opportunities um, instead of. Standing at the door where you think the opportunity is, create the door. 
That's what I heard the Lord say. Because you have the ability to create some things, um, or the ability is in you, rather, to create some things, to create some doors of opportunity. Because your desire is not just that you would have, or your family, or those that are close to you would have doors of opportunity open to you, but that you would be one that would have the access to open doors for others. So this is the, this is the hour uh, for divine connection for you and as you extend yourself and ask um, the Lord to show you where these doors are located for him to cause you to be one that creates these opportunities not only for yourself but for others that it will cause you to partner with somebody else who has resources that you don't have you have the access you have the uh the brain power you have the ability to mobilize it but the other person has the financial wherewithal so don't be afraid to ask for what you need in this hour because that person is looking for the wheels they have the engine but you have the wheels to mobilize it so um, that's where because you're gonna you're gonna see some open doors but the, the doors that are open before you are too small they're too small for what God has already placed on the inside of you and the drive that you have so again uh, recognize the partner that's in your midst that is going to be, again, the engine and you be the wheels. Okay. Um, the partnering is happening. Uh, that's God. That's God. That's God. I uh, love you, too. Bless the Lord for his, for his confirming word. Um, that's whatever monies we obtain by working. Okay. Okay. Um, Y'all going to learn when I start all in, mm, 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 I'm like, okay, God, I hear you. You want me to say that or you want me to keep that to myself? Okay. Amen. Amen. Uh, and this, this is a, this is a, the hour anyway. Um, oh yeah. I see Al this morning. So, you know, I'm going to be praying. I got my, I got my oil in my purse just for Al, just for Al. But anyway, um, uh, uh, um. Yes, this is the hour and the opportunity that God is um, giving us some different nuances in how we uh, work and how we, uh, mm, what's the word, Father? How we, uh, uh, um, <laughs> you know I am, how we're going to, um, how, how we're going, the process of how we go about working. Because uh, I keep hearing over and over again, uh, less work more productivity, less work, more resources. Um, and so not to make us lazy, but to free us up to be more kingdom-minded and mobilized in different directions. Um, so we keep asking God for more time. We need more, God, I need more time. I can't get all this stuff done in this time. And he's giving us insight on how to execute um, in a way that brings us actually more money and more resources uh, without expending as much energy and using utilizing as much time as we have been. So we have to be sensitive and be willing to do things a different way because it won't feel right in, in the moment, but it is, it, it is his will because he wants to free us up in some areas so we can be mobilized in different directions. Um, and I always say, you know, I used to tell a friend of mine, you know, that women are duplicitous. You know, we have we have the opportunity to be able to think in four different directions at one time and still remember the direction that, that we're going in. Um, our main direction, I should say. Um, but that is what God is calling for us to do in this hour, that we have uh, the the opportunity and the benefit of, of moving and driving some things forward. Um, and actually the word I keep hearing is launching some things forward because it's not just uh, on a, um, like a 70 mile per hour speed, but really ramping some things forward very quickly and advancing some things quickly, quickly uh, uh, to new dimensions um, and doing it from different directions, doing different things all at the same time. Uh, so we have to be willing, again, to do some things a little different and not say, well, I've never done it like that before, so I don't want to go there, I don't want to do that like that. But be willing to try it a different way because he's given us some, some new uh, um, methods, some new means, and some new um, strategies. Amen. Amen. Amen, Pastor Burns. Amen. So be willing to, to let go of the grip. Be willing to let go of the wheel because a lot of a lot of that is fear. Um, okay, uh, a lot of that is fear of um, getting things getting out of control, and God wants some things in us to be unleashed. Um, 
to be unleashed so he can really just blow our minds. And we on a lot of fronts are withholding and, and holding down some things that God really wants to launch us in and propel us out because of fear. And we got to let that go. We got to let that go. Amen. So if that's all the prayer requests, we're going to get uh, started in prayer this morning. Um, again, remember to keep our government. Saying who God wants. Amen. 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 Uh, amen. Jennifer, that's a um, an identity issue. That's an identity issue. They're still trying to figure out who they are and assess their value, and they're attempting to do so by men um, and through men and to find their relevance in the earth through men. Um, instead of finding their value in him. And um, it's going to take a little, a few bumping of the heads, um, nothing too major, but just continue to pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, continue to pray for them and uh, step back a little bit and um, not be so vocal uh, externally, but turn your turn what you see to heaven and talk to God um, and hear what God is saying and release that back to the Lord. Um, but step step back a little bit. Step back a little bit because the, the more you step into it, the more it's going to drive them, not just to the men, but drive them away from you. And you want to maintain access to them because as things begin to fall, um, no, you just say no. <laughs> just say no, you know. Just say no. Um, you can you can you can hear uh, what's going on without involving yourself in it. Uh, my dad um, gave me some insight years ago that I have yet to be able to use, but it's good to know in the moment. He was saying that as you as your children get older, you go from parenting to coaching, and sometimes the coaching is on different levels, and sometimes your coaching may be uh, uh, silent to them, but um, what you see. Um, what you see and what you hear and what you know, you direct that towards the atmospheres of heaven and you cause things to come into alignment that way. But you cannot be directly influencing, not in this moment, and not to say that in the days to come he won't adjust some things, but in this moment, um, don't, don't do it. And because it's going gonna, it's gonna to suck you in. And, and the sucking you in is, again, going to separate you in some areas from some access that they need, but also... Um, it will put them in a position uh, when they really, really need to step forward and speak to you about some things that what that will happen. They'll be too embarrassed and ashamed to do so. Um, so utilize this moment to talk to the Lord and to seek God concerning them and just cover them with the blood of Jesus. And, you know, uh, uh, can't, 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 can't. And I, I'm, I am, uh, um, I say that not from experience per se, but just from, again, what I hear and what the Lord is saying. But also, you know, I, I was probably about three years ago. My, my dad and I, as you probably all can tell, are very close. Um, and I won't say we talk about everything, but we talk about a whole lot. Um, and we're very open uh, in our communication. And the Lord had to tell me uh, a couple of years ago, he was like, back it up. Just a little bit. Back it up. And I'm like, that's my dad. And he was like, you know, the, the, some of these areas that he is occupying is designed for me. Some of these areas are designed for your spouse. And you got, you got to back up just a little bit. And so it wasn't hard, but it was just different. It was different. And um, I know the Lord probably told him the same thing because I saw him back up in some areas in conversation. Um, so um, get Allow, allow the Lord to, 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 to bring some balance to that because it, it will become um, uh, a harm, a harm. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. But I, I guarantee you in the long run, it will strengthen the bonds uh, more than not. Um, in the long run, but this is a moment that you know. Sometimes we 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 uh, operate as Jesus to people uh, in ways that we're not called to. Um, so. Um, I, I don't know what it's like to, to be a mom. One day I will. Um, but I can only imagine um, 
that 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 is probably a difficult thing to do but in the moment you got to let let their father god parent them and let him groom them and uh funny uh you were on the list anyway next to your daughters um but um this is this this is his moment this is his moment you know i i do remember seeing sometimes growing up when my uh parents different in whatever role that they were operating in in the in the moment um they had to yield to one another's strengths um because my mom sometimes would be too lax in some areas and where my dad would not be and that was a necessity that was um uh hard for her to watch him be um authoritative in some areas because he's he can be a rough dude i mean he's wonderful but you know sometimes he can be a trip and he would get a hold to us and it's like that was not nice but it was it was necessary and it sometimes it takes um you standing down so that um uh so that god their father can step forward and he can order some things um amen so we're just gonna pray for all your children we're gonna pray for your family as a whole um that god that godly alignment will come so that he can arise and um Establish in them his order and his truths and um, so that they can be all that God has created them to be because that was one of the things that we were praying for last night that not one thing that was placed on the inside of God's people that they would die with it out being um, activated and brought forth um, um, and utilized as God intended it to be. Amen. 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 It's coaching. It's coaching. It's coaching. Uh, you parent children, you coach adults. So that was that was one of the greatest lessons I think I learned, and and I, I appreciate that because I've seen other um, people try to parent adults, and it's like mm, that don't work too good. That don't work too good. You parent you parent children, you coach adults. Uh, so anyway, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, God, we thank you. We bless you. We glorify you, God. We thank you, Lord God, for every day, Lord God, that you have made, Father. We glorify you in this day, Father, and we choose, Father, to keep our eyes on you, God. We honor you and we bless you, Father God, in every moment, Lord God. In this day, God, we delight ourselves in you, Father. Not just so that you give us the desires of our heart, God, but we delight to know you. We delight to serve you. We delight to trust in you, Father. We delight, Lord God, to be uh, transformed by you, O oh God, because you are our Father. You are our source. You are our need meter. You are our identity. You show us who we are in you, God, and we thank you for it in this day, God. We thank you, Father God, that you are the solution, Lord God, to to every problem, to every challenge, Lord God, to every restriction, Father, to every uh, closed door, to every uh, 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 confusion, Lord God, to everything, Lord God, that we need, Lord God, everything that we, Lord God, think we need, Lord God, you are the solution, Lord God, you're the one that satisfies, Father, you are the connector of every breach, Father, you are the, uh, the, the satisfier and the meter of every need, oh God, and we thank you, God, we glorify you on today, God, for being God and God alone, God. We thank you, God, that you're not dependent on us, Lord God, to be God with you or for you, God. But we can rest assured that you got this and you got us as you got this, Lord. We bless you, Father, that we can trust you. And that we can partner in obedience with you, Father, to help mobilize your promises and to mobilize your will in the earth. Father, we lift up even now, Lord God, your people, Father. And your word says, Lord God, that if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of you and you would give it liberally and unbraideth not. So, Father, we thank you even now that we're asking for wisdom for your people, oh God. We ask, Lord God, that you would uh, cause us, Father, to hear and to know, Father, and with it to obey. Father, teach us your way, Lord God. Teach us, Father God, with it understand. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that with understanding, Lord God, you will cause us, Father, to be ones, Lord God, that would understand, Father, in truth, Father, that we would understand not just in theory, but in application, Father, and we will walk it out, Lord God, till it's in, until it's complete, Father. We thank you even now, Lord God that we, Lord God, walk out every matter, Lord God. We search out every matter, Lord God, until we, Lord God, have fulfill fulfillment, Lord God, of the wisdom, of the understanding, Lord God, that we are needing in the moment. Father, we pray, Lord God, for every family member that is connected to us, that has uh, uh, debilitating diseases, Lord God, and, and diagnosis, Father, of diseases. Father, we lift them up to you, Father, and we thank you, Lord God, that you that was one of the things that we have been afforded through the, through the cross, Lord God, through the blood of the cross, and even through the resurrection 
resurrection of Jesus Christ. We have been afforded health and healing, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that your wounds bring us healing. We thank you, Lord God, that the shedding of your blood, Lord God, brings healing. We thank you, Lord God, that you rose when you rose. You rose with all power in your hand, oh God. And we thank you, Father God, that we are liberated to life, Lord God, to health, to healing, to peace, and to rest, oh God. And so, Father, we uh, appropriate the promises of God even now, and we receive, Father, health and healing as our portion in Jesus' name. Father, we pray even now, Lord God, for Rochelle's husband. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you're driving him to you, Father. We pray that you will put a hook in his mouth even now, oh God, and reel him into you, Father. Whatever you got to do, however you got to do it, God, we lay him at your feet, and we trust you with him, oh God. We trust, Father God, that you're going to blow her mind, oh God. We trust, Lord God, that you're going to cause, Lord God, great transformation to come from his heart, Lord God. Not just in his actions, not just in his ways, oh God. But we pray heart change be upon him, oh God. That he would love you more than he loves anything, Father. That he would serve you, Father, with his whole heart. And the manifestation of that love, Lord God, will be shown in every area of his life, Father. We thank you, Lord God, that we've seen, Lord God, you transform hearts, oh God. So we ask God that you would do it again, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, even now for Leo. We lift him up to you, God. We thank you, Father God, that we're going to keep hitting that spot until we see a breaking come in that young man's life. Father, we've already claimed him for the kingdom. We've already released the words of life over him, and we continue to do th that. We pray even now, oh God, that you, will, Lord God, continue to reel him in by your spirit, Father. Give him hope, Lord God. Give him a future, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, that the enemy cannot have his life. The enemy cannot have his days. The enemy cannot have his purposes, his talents, his giftings, none of the above but father we give them back to you even now we claim him as a mighty man of valor even now to be made manifest in the earth God we thank you Lord God that his potential will be unlocked and unleashed father for this very hour Lord God that he would Lord God be the solution that you called him to be in the place of the earth father we pray for our youth even now oh God we thank you, Father God, that you are raising up, Father, a new generation of a righteous heritage, Lord God. And we praise you, Father God, that our youth, Father God, will do what no other generation has done for your kingdom and for this earth, God. We say even now that they are separated unto you, God. We thank you for the remnant, oh God, that you're training even now, Lord God, in the secret places, oh God. We thank you, Father, that they hear you, Lord God, that they're driven to you, oh God. We say, Lord God, that the hand of the enemy cannot touch them. The religious spirits cannot not contaminate them. We thank you, Father God. They will not be watered down. They will not be denied. They will not be withheld. They will not be abased. They will not be confused. No one will be will despise them because of their youth, Father, because of the spirit of life that will proceed from their mouth, that will proceed from their actions. Father, we say even now, Lord God, that even uh, uh, in the in ingenuity that you've placed on the inside of them will be unleashed like never before and will cause them to be a force to be reckoned with on every level in the marketplace, Father, in the kingdom, oh God, in every aspect of the earth, Father, in politics and political systems, Father. We thank you, Lord God, that they will break down barriers, Father. We pray, Father God, that your, your justice will be upon their hearts, oh God, and that you will cause them to be driven, Lord God, by your spirit, oh God, not, a, not in a zeal uh, 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 that's not according to knowledge, but that they will be learned young people, oh God, that they will have wisdom and insight beyond their years, Father, that they will listen, oh God, that they will submit, Lord God, to those who have authority over them, God, but that they would be balanced in their submission, Father, that they wouldn't be so pliable, that they would be foolish, oh God, but that they would be pliable, Lord God, but that they would be strong in you, oh God. We say even now, Lord God, as you open, Lord God, the doors of opportunity that you design, Lord God, and divine partnerships, Father, even as you prepare the way, Father, we pray, Lord God, a launching like never before, Father, we say light the pilot light, light the fire, even now, Lord God, under your people, Lord God, and cause, Father, the divine connection, divine appointments, Father, divine partnerships to proceed even now, oh God. We say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that this is the hour that you're calling for it for, and we will not step back. We will not say no to it. We will not downplay it, but God, we thank you, Lord God, that you're mobilizing us like never before to advance and procure, Father. We thank you, Father God, for the unlimited provision, oh God. We say even now, Lord God, that we will invest where you tell us to invest, how you tell us to invest, when you tell us to invest. And God, we thank you even now, Lord God, that you're causing excuse me, great things to come forth. Great things, great things, great things to come forth, oh God. 
on behalf of your people, Lord God, who obey you. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that our work, Father, will be fruitful, Father. We thank you, Father God, that we, Lord God, will do less, Father, and 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 uh, 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 have more, Father. We thank you, Father, that even as you launch us in different directions, Father, you, you will continue to give us focus, Father. You will continue to give us stamina. You will continue to strengthen our hearts, strengthen our minds, strengthen our wills, strengthen our emotions, Father, that we will be stabilized by the power of your word, by the power of your might, O oh God. God. Not on our own, Lord God, not unto ourselves, Father, but we trust and we rely in you even now, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that your word says greater works will we do in your name. So, Father, we look forward now, Lord God, and we move in your rhythm. We move according to your zeal. We move according to your wisdom, your knowledge, your might, oh God, for the greater works, Father. We thank you that we'll not only cast out devils, we'll not only, Lord God, speak in new tongues, we'll not only raise the dead and heal the sick, but Father, we thank you, Lord God, that we will go into the places of the earth, Father, and we, Lord God, with resurrection power, we, Lord God, will cause things that were dead in the places of the earth to, to come alive as you speak them, O oh God. And as you empower it to be so, Father, we speak even now, Lord God, the greater works be released upon your people in Jesus name. And Father, we thank you even now, Lord God, that with it, you give us a, a, a strengthened and a greater spirit of discernment, oh God, that Lord God, we are more sensitive to you. We're more sensitive to our surroundings. We're sensitive, Lord God, to what you're saying, oh God, like never before, oh God, because we will hear and we will obey. Father, again, we say we will walk in the spirit and we will not fulfill the the lust of the flesh. We will not fulfill the lust of the flesh in our conversations. We will not fulfill the lust of the flesh in our expressions. We will not fulfill the lust of the flesh in our mentalities and our mindsets, Father. We thank you even now, Lord God, that when you say go, we will go. When you say sit, we will sit. When you say do, we will do the way you say do it, the timing you say will to do it. God, we will not resist you in any way. We will not, Lord God, compromise what you are saying in any way. But Father, we yield and we obey you, God. We are strengthened even now by the power of your might. Father, we lay down our weapons, Lord God, unto one another, and we pick up even now our spiritual arsenal, oh God. And Father, we, Lord God, we deal, Lord God, with things in the realm of the spirit, oh God. We thank you even now, Lord God, that we will see with the eyes of precision, oh God, and we will respond, Lord God, precisely, Father. We thank you, Father God, that with one cut, Father, that the neck of the enemy will be cut off, oh God. We thank you, Father God, with one jab, Father, that we will it will be a blow to the heart of the enemy, oh God, to the enemy's schemes, to the enemy's tactics, to the enemy's ploys, to the enemy's tricks, to every imp, every demon, every contaminating spirit, even now in the name of Jesus. For we know, God, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, oh God. And we take even now every weapon, every weapon of warfare, even now, Lord God. And we utilize it. We advance it, Father, as you skill and as you train us, oh God. We will use the tools of the trade, Father God, like never before. No more will we use our earthly tricks. No longer will we employ earthly schemes. We will not manipulate we will not have our natural hands on it but Father we operate Lord God and we Lord God delegate Father and we Lord God do and we advance in the spirit God and we thank you Father that the manifestation of it the fruit will be seen in the natural we say even now to we speak to every prince and every principality that is attempting to withhold even in the hierarchies of heaven even now that release would come Father we send forth your angels of war to do battle on our behalf oh God that release will come to the places of the earth to the promises oh God we say even now every promise will be fulfilled timely Lord God every Lord God release father comes in the hour that you have designated and designed oh God we say release come now in the name of Jesus like water even to the earth father we say release come now oh God shower and pour down flash floods oh God drench us even now God with that which you Lord God have decreed and declared that has been held up we say no more delay no more delay but release come now oh God to your church release come now to the atmospheres of the earth release come now to the hearts of men release come now oh God to the seeds that have been sown father that have yet to bud and yet to grow we say release come now in the name of Jesus and father we lift up Jennifer's family her son and her, her daughter's father to you God we thank you God that you're organizing and reorganizing for your glory God we thank you father God that what you've invested in 
and them shall come forth, Father. We say even now, Lord God, that you're going to show them who they are and whose they are. We thank you, Father, that they will never again be identified by who they're with, oh God, or what they have or what's being done to them, oh God. But Father, we say even now, Lord God, that they will be the men and the women of God that you created them to be. They will be a blessing and not a curse, Father. They will be lenders and never borrowers, oh God. They will never again live beneath their means or beneath their birthright or beneath their calling. But Father, we say even now that wholeness and soundness and fullness is their portion, oh God. We release the words of truth and the words of life and order be their portion, Father. We pray, Father, that you would change their appetites, Father. That you would take the taste out of their mouth, oh God, for men who are abusive and men who are users and men who are controlling, oh God. Take the taste out of their mouths, oh God, for those things, oh God, that don't please you. Take the taste out of their mouths, oh God, for uh, for premarital sex, oh God. Take the taste out of their mouths, oh God, for any, uh, 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 any drugs, Lord God, that they are playing and toying around with or using recreationally, oh God. Take the taste out of their mouths, oh God, for anything, Lord God, that uh, comes under and falls under the, the, the realm of iniquity, oh God. We say that you, Lord God, will implant and impart your spirit unto them afresh, God, and show them what real love looks like. Show them what real peace looks like. Show them what real commitment looks like. Show them, Father God, what you, Lord God, have called them to be, Father. We pray even now, oh God, that you would turn them, oh God. Turn them, God, back to you, Father. And we thank you, Father, that your word says that you would illuminate our darkened places. Let them see in the eyes with the eyes of truth God as only you can do and we thank you Father that it is done in Jesus name that's a done deal God we thank you God that you're going to do it we thank you Father God that you're going to arise in their midst oh God we thank you Father God, God that as you do that that you're establishing a new order we thank you God that as you arise oh God that you're coming with healing in your hand and healing in your wings oh God that you're mending their broken hearts oh God that you Lord God are delivering them even from the spirit of fatherlessness Lord God where they're looking to be identified by others, oh God. We thank you, Father God, that you are their father. You are their father. You are their father. And they would know you to be not just Lord, not just Savior, but as Father, as Abba, as Daddy, oh God, that they will find their safety in you, God, and in you alone. In Jesus' name. God, we say it is so, God. We say it is so, Father. We declare it and we decree it, Father. And we thank you that your word says that if we decree a thing, that it is established. So it's established even now, oh God. And we call it done. In Jesus name we pray. We bless you in this day God. And as we move forward. We move forward in wisdom oh God. We move forward in knowledge. We move forward in your might. And in your, in your understanding. In obedience oh God. We do what you say do. The way you say do it. When you say do it. How you say do it. And we thank you that we're covered with your blood. We thank you that your angels have charge over us. To keep us in all of our ways. We thank you that our foot won't dash against the, against the stone. We thank you that we won't be trapped. We won't be tricked. We won't be in snared. There was no scheme that will be able to be launched against us that will work. We thank you that no weapon formed against us will prosper. We thank you, Lord God, that every ill-spoken word, Father, has been reset and is being judged even now, oh God. We thank you, Father God, that you, Lord God, have us, oh God. You have gone before us and you said that you would be our rear guard. So, Father, we thank you, Lord God, that we're covered on every side, God, and we're held in the palm of your hand. We, our back is covered, our front is covered, our sides are covered. For you, Lord God, you got us, oh God. You got us, oh God. So, Father, we trust you, God. And we rest we rest in you, God, like never before. We stop trying to order other folks' steps, God. We stop, we stop trying to rescue people from what you want to do, Lord God, so that you can be seen in their lives, God. And we wait patiently on you, oh God. We don't just wait on you as it pertains to, to, to uh, waiting in time, oh God. But, Father, we serve you. That's the waiting we do, God. We're at your beck and call, oh God. And the other wait, God, that we, are, we have on you, God, is the W-E-I-G. GHT God. We lay everything we got on you, God. And we thank you, Father God, that you, God, you got us, oh God. You got us. You got us, God. And you said that you would keep that which is committed unto you until that day. So, Father, we thank you that our children are kept. Our husbands are kept, Father. Our lives are kept, Father. Our purposes are kept, Father. Everything we got, our homes, Father, our dogs, our children, oh God, our, our, our resources, our businesses, Father. We thank you that we don't worry about stuff, God, because you, you, you hold our world in your hand, oh God. And you know what you're doing, God. We can't drive this car. So, Father, we sit back and we ride, God. And we thank you, God, that you got this thing, God. We, we thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. We bless you. We honor you. And we give you 
glory for the fruit, the fruit of what is to come, Father, from these prayers, God. We don't waste our time just doing this as a religious exercise because we ain't religious, God. But we thank you even now, Lord God, that there will be, there will be transformation in the places of the earth, in the places of our lives, in the places of our hearts as it pertains to the decrees that have been released through our prayers and through our intercession. In Jesus' name we pray. We expect to see it. We expect to see it. We expect to live it out, Lord God, by the power of your might. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Bless the Lord you all today. Continue to stay in a place, amen, Jennifer, of expectancy and great expectation because your hope is in him. And the, the Bible says that your hope will not be made ashamed. So don't allow it. Don't allow yourself to be tricked. Don't allow yourself to, uh, to be fooled. And again, stay on the wall and stay in the, in the place of promise and stay in the place of expectations. Blessing to you all. And again, pray for Al this morning. He's my first client. God is going to change his heart. And God is going to straighten his path. And God's going to do a new thing, a new thing in him. And we're going to see it spring forth. God's going to do something new in Jennifer's daughters. God's going to do something new in Rochelle's husband. God's going to do something new in, in, in all of our lives, Father. In Jesus' name, we thank you, God, that you're going to do it. You're going to do it because we can't do it. Only you can. And so we trust you to do what you're going to do. Leo's life is never going to be the same because God said so. So we believe, we believe and we agree with God. Amen. 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 Have a great one, you guys. I'm going to work. Bless y'all. Yes, he is, Jackie.